All right, folks, Logan Alex, CPA here. So if it's not obvious, as a CPA, taxes and tax resolution are my specialties. So what I love talking about, in fact, over the coming weeks, I'm going to be creating more content right here on the channel about how you can deal with your tax debt through offers and compromise, uh, through installment agreements, uh, through even just getting into currently non-collectible status uh, to get the IRS off your back. Because if you're in one of these situations, uh, you probably wanna act fast because according to two sources for the New York Times, just reported on today, it's off the press, the Biden administration is going to propose giving an additional $80 billion to the IRS to strengthen tax enforcement. I mean, he's got to pay for his multi-trillion dollar infrastructure plan somehow, right? I mean, yes, he wants to raise taxes on wealthy Americans. He wants to increase that top marginal tax rate from 37% to 39% for the 39.6% for the highest income earners, likely looking at a capital gains tax increase for Americans making seven figures. I made a video on that recently. But an easy way to get more money in the Treasury's coffers is for the IRS to go over those who they know owe the money already. According to these sources for the Times, this plan would generate about $700 billion in net taxes that would otherwise go uncollected. What does this mean? This means more audits. Believe it or not, individual audit rates are at a 40-year low. The IRS has 15% fewer employees than it did 10 years ago. In fact, the IRS has said that the amount of funding and staff allocated to enforcement activities has declined by about 30% since 2010. Uh, the IRS said that experienced revenue agents, right? Revenue agents are the auditors, right? They don't collect the money. They're the auditors. Uh, IRS is saying that experienced revenue agents fell by 35% and revenue officers, the revenue officers are the ones who are actually doing the collections, right? They get the money from you. They don't audit your stuff, but they get, they get the money from you uh, when you owe the IRS. Experienced revenue officers dropped by 48% and the pandemic simply exacerbated matters. So this $80 billion cash infusion, if Biden's able to give it to them, is sure to change that. That means uh, more audits, more collection activity, and less leniency overall on the part of the IRS because if they get this money, they'll have more teeth right? Fewer folks are going to be able to, flop, uh, to fall through the cracks. Granted, typically the IRS goes after the big fish. Obviously, it's the wealthy tax sheets that are a priority here. And that's obviously the politically correct messaging, right? And how this is going to be positioned. But you and I both know they go after the little guy too, right? I'm sure many of you out there have received a tax notices from the IRS at some point in the past. Uh, perhaps some of you have even had a notice of federal tax lien filed against you by the, S, by, uh, by the IRS basically saying, uh, 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 you haven't paid your taxes. Uh, what's yours is ours, right? Uh, liens on your property, wage garnishments, bank levies, you name it. Now, just to put this in perspective, how big an infusion this $80 billion is, the IRS's current budget is only $12 billion annually, okay? An $80 billion infusion is over six and a half times the IRS's current annual budget. That's just massive. And just earlier this month, the IRS Commissioner Charles Reddick testified in the Senate saying that the IRS lacks resources to catch tax cheats costing the government as much as $1 trillion a year. If you saw my first video from today, I told you about the Problem Solvers Caucus co-chair, Josh Gottheimer, who wrote a letter to Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen saying, look, let's get rid of that $10,000 limit on the itemized deduction for state and local taxes, and let's make up for it by beefing up enforcement actions and collections activity at the IRS. So just want to give you all a quick update on this. If you're behind with the IRS, I'll tell you an option that you can choose to do in the description below. I'll also be creating some content about this in the coming weeks. So be sure to watch out for that. Have a great evening, everybody.